set theory first question let's read the question set p comprises all multiples of 4 less than 500 set q comprises all odd multiples of 7 less than 500 set r comprises all multiples of 6 less than 500 how many elements are there in p union q union r we know this formula this is n of p plus n of q plus n of r minus n of p intersection q minus n of q intersection r minus n of p intersection r plus n of p intersection q intersection r and we know the elaborate formula we know that if we plug into that formula we can find this answer right? let's go step by step this could take a little while or maybe it will get easier if we pick some details fine right? so let's hang in there try this question and see if we can create a template and do these kind of questions slightly quicker all of that right so first one set up all elements multiples of 4 less than 500 this is very simple n of p this is all multiples less than 500 500 is 4 into 125 less than 500 124 numbers and all odd multiples of 7 less than 500 this is interesting because not multiples it's odd multiples so this set q has elements 7 21 35, 49 and so on. Right? Think about the last element and then we will simplify from there. 497 into 70. So, 497 would be there. Right? So, so, 7 into 1, 7 into 3, 7 into 5, all the way till 7 into 71. So, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, all the way till 71. All odd numbers till 71. Think about it. 2, 4, 6, 8, all even numbers till 72, there will be 36 numbers. All odd numbers till 71, there are 36 numbers. And count with some pattern. Right? Set R comprises all multiples of 6 less than 500. So, 500 by 6, 480 is 80 into 6. 486, 492, 498. 498 is 83 into 6. So, in the set R, there are 83 elements right so p has 124 elements q has 36 elements r has 83 elements this much we have computed right this many numbers we have done already now we need to go to p intersection q q intersection r p intersection r and then p intersection q intersection r think about p intersection q right p is set of all multiples of 4 q is set of all odd multiples of 7 P has all even numbers. Q has only odd numbers. So all elements in P are even. All elements in Q are odd. So there is no intersection. So this goes to 0. And Q intersection are all odd multiples of 7, all multiples of 6. Odd numbers, even numbers. Again, this has no. If P intersection Q is a null set, nothing is there, then P intersection Q intersection R is nothing. So, the only common set that we need to think about is P intersection R. So, set up all elements present in P and R, multiples of 4 and multiples of 6, effectively multiples of 12. So, we are looking at numbers 12, 24, 36, 480 is a multiple of 12. So, 480 is 12 into 40, 492 is 12 into 41. So, P intersection R would have 41 elements. So, you have to add these three and then subtract this. And so, 124 plus 36 is 160. These two add up to 160. 83 minus 41 is 42. 160 plus 42 is 202. This is the right answer. And wonderful question. The template method is useful. And of A union, B union, C is A plus B plus C minus a intersection b minus b intersection c minus c intersection a plus a intersection b intersection c if you take this exam seriously you have no business not knowing that formula but if you have to plug in that entire formula then you have to compute seven different terms that's very time consuming as luck would have it three of these terms are zero and so that is that little bit simpler and n of p n of q n of r calculate it with some pattern and how many multiples are there of 4 are there, how many multiples of 6 are there, how many odd multiples of 7 are there, it is not too difficult to find out. Spend that little bit of time and be careful about the detail, but otherwise it is a very doable question.